Hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm a center photographer, just a dude with a camera. All right, today on the Gearhead Gardener, we were headed out to the Pomona Swap Meet when we broke down on the side of the freeway. As you can see, overheated, lost a lot of oil, broke down, and had to call for help. And as I sat around waiting for the tow truck driver, you know me, I can't just sit around. So I did a little exploring, and as I came around the side of the van, I noticed this little pine tree sitting on the side of the road on the slope right here. So I had to go dig it up and see what it was. I didn't have any tools or shovels or anything with me, so I just took a screwdriver out, out there and dug around there and found this little pine tree that must have fallen from the seeds on these big trees that were just a few hundred yards away. So I dug up this little thing and brought it home and let's see what it's all about. So if there's something you're interested in, let's get started. Okay, what we're looking at here is, it looks like it might be a Scott pine or California pine or something kind of Yamadori. You see the root looks fabulous. Okay, this is Yamadori. I found this actually in the most peculiar place. I happened to be driving up the freeway in my Volkswagen camper bus and I broke down. And while waiting for the truck driver, you know, to pull up, for the tow truck driver to pull up, um, I looked around and I saw this little pine growing. I didn't have any tools, so I took out a screwdriver and dug out as much of the dirt as I could and pulled the root. And once I got it home, the first thing I did is I got in this big pot of wet soil. As you can see, I just cut a couple of things off on the very bottom because I wanted to see the structure. And you can see this thing is massive. And it's been cropped a couple of times here, probably when the uh, tractor comes by and just whacks everything down but it looks pretty good. And you know, I hadn't planned on doing any kind of video on it. I just saw the plant and I just wanted to rescue it. So looking at the down the street, I wish I would have taken a picture of it, but the pines in the background, you can see that what dropped the seed. So this thing is massive and I'm really stoked. So I'm gonna leave it in this big pot and let the, you know, just the roots do what it needs to do. I'm gonna keep it out in the sun. And I'm just gonna cut a couple of these back because there's way too many. And it looks like there's one big one in there that could be a leader. You know, I could pull it up for a liter like this, is what I'm hoping for. And then we're going to eliminate the rest of these. But either way, this is pretty cool. I've got this in like a stumpy five gallon. And we'll go ahead and trim it back, maybe wire some of it up. But I don't want to do anything with it just yet. I am going to go ahead and put it back into the sun. You can see I got a dead geisha gun wild tree in there. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the sun and just let it do what it needs to do and suck up all its roots. There's no rush for this guy. I will just pin this up a little bit and try and get this to start as a leader. All right, I'm going to take one last look at it. I went down a little bit deeper with my chopstick and dug and just wanted to kind of see the root structure. And you can see the first little water is starting right there. So we've got nice movement going here. That could all be cleaned up. But I'm going to still bury it back up to here because that's what it's used to. And I'm just going to let it, you know, let the roots mature a little bit. We are here in the third week of fall, so I've got plenty of time to uh, get working on this guy. Okay, here it is sitting out in the sun now where I'm going to let it sit since we've got some warm weather coming up. I'm gonna just sit out here for a few days and with all its foliage and hopefully it'll start some root production. And then we're gonna move it into a smaller pot in just a couple of weeks. Once I get a good sized bonsai training pot, we'll go ahead and put it in there. All right, after sitting for a couple of days, this little uh, pine looks awful good. So what I've done here is I've trimmed off so many branches that just keep getting, they keep growing back. And I'm gonna tie a bunch of those together like a clump style and see if I can get any of the roots to strike. So as you can see how many times this thing's been whacked off. So it's been trying to grow. And you know, they have these big lawn mowers that come along the side of these freeways and just cut everything off to a certain length. So you can see it just keeps getting cut off, cut off, cut off. I mean, that is, takes years to be able to establish this S-curve just by, by chopping the plant. And as you can see here, 
Here's the ones that's been growing at the top. So these are the ones that this past season got cut off. And this is what's been growing. So I'm going to try and just keep, there's two good strong ones here. I'm going to try and keep those going for now. And take the rest of these off. And then I'm going to try and cut this little nub off. And continue, like I said, to just get a couple of these to grow. But see, this is kind of in the way here. So all this has to, I have to get in here. And trim it all back from here. So it'd be nice if I had a leader growing from here, or I wait for this to become a leader. Right here. Or that. But either way, I still think it's pretty cool. Okay, here's what I decided to do. I decided to just cut this nub off because it was going to be all die back anyways. And I'm just going to pretend I was the big bad lawnmower that came by and chopped it off. So then we'll have these two can grow as leaders. And then I'll cut the rest of these. I'm just going to chop them off to here. And maybe cut this one short and wire it and cut this one short and wire it. But I'm gonna wait till, maybe till I get some established roots. I don't know, but so far it looks pretty happy and healthy. Like I said, I will try and strike all of these and maybe get more. All right, so I don't wanna plant anything. Or I mean, I don't wanna transplant it to anything. And I'm gonna fill this soil In and let it recover again. It's autumn, so it's still growing. And I might just pull out some wire and wire it up. Okay, one last thing. I took all the cuttings and I put them in clump style with rooting hormone and put them in some wet soil and they're gonna sit here in my intensive care unit. And after a little snipping and some wiring, this is where we wind up. I put a little stick in it just to make, try and straighten this, strengthen this up, because I'm so afraid this is gonna break off right there. And it's wired, cut the top of this off, and I'm gonna let this grow until springtime. We will take another look at it and give it a repot. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is take some cut paste and dab it on there nicely. And then I'm also gonna smear it around the back where it keeps growing all those little nubs because I want it to focus on these two. And then once the dieback finishes, we'll go ahead and grind this off. But I wanna go and try and seal these real good. Okay, there you have it. Now this is the end. Yamadori. In case anybody doesn't remember, Yamadori just means collection of bonsai material in the wild. So that's what this is. I'm guessing this has got to be a good 20-year-old tree, if not more, for it to grow that thick that many times and make those curves just from being chopped. Pretty amazing, which means in reference, this would have to get that fat and then get cut down again for it to make that as a curve or this way. This one would be have to get that fat and then be cut off again for it to make another elbow turn. So that's what seems to take so long. But either way, that's what I got going on. My Yamadori roadside rescue of a little pine tree off the side of the freeway. Here on Filet TV, the Gearhead Gardener signing off. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Follow me along on this journey. 
as I fix up these old Volkswagens and play with my trees in my retirement. Thanks for watching. Blade TV. Ciao.